Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be learning how to create this knowledge check where students can click on multiple choice questions and check the answers. I will be showing you two variations of this PowerPoint and I will also have a download link in the description box below. So please feel free to download and customize it for your students. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here I am on a blank new slide. The first thing I would like to do is right click Format background, picture and texture, insert online pictures, blackboard, and pick the first one. You can pick whatever you like, but I think I like the blackboard. This particular picture is very nice. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And I make sure I apply it to all my slides and close my format background. Now, the next step is to click on insert and insert your text boxes. So click on text box. Here is my first text box. Right click, format shape. I want a solid borderline and I want it to be white color. I want to increase the width, change the style. Click on text options. I want the text color to be white. And there I have it. Now, once this is done, let me go ahead and close this. So your question one goes here. So this is where your question would go. I'm going to select all my text, change the font and increase the width. There you go. Now, once that's done, I'm simply going to copy this one. So control and drag. And remember, it's a multiple choice question. So we will be having three wrong answers and one right answer. I'm going to change the size of this one. So I have one wrong answer. I'm going to copy it four times. So control and drag, control and drag, control and drag. So here I have my four options, but one of them is the right option. I'm going to go ahead and change that to right, right answer. And I'm going to make sure this is in between. So once you create your questions and your answers, the next step is to create animations. When students click on them, they actually know if the answers are right or wrong. So let's go ahead and do that. Insert. I'm going to insert the wrong answer shape. So I'm going to pick equations and multiplication sign. I'm going to drag it. And this little yellow button helps to minimize or actually increase or decrease the width of your uh, multiplication sign. So here I have it. I think I want it much more bigger. There you go. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and change the shape fill and I do not want any outline. Once that's done, I'm going to copy it three times. One and two. Actually two times. Now my right answer should be a check. To do that, I'm going to click on insert, icons, then I type in check, enter. I think I like this sign. I'm going to click insert, check that and click insert. And there I have it. Now I want it to be a little bigger in size and a different color. So I'm going to click on it, go to graphics fill and pick the bright green. There I have it. The next step is to create the animations. But before we do that, let's go ahead and name all our text boxes and our icons. To do that, I'm going to click on select, selection pane. And the first text box is the wrong answer. So I'm going to double click and name it W, actually capital W1. So wrong answer one. The next one is wrong answer two. So I'm going to double click W2. And this is my wrong answer three, W3. And this is my right answer. So I'm just going to double click and say R, just R is good enough for me. Once that is done, I have to name my multiplication signs as well. So this is my first wrong answer. So this one, I am going to say W1 and A, just to make it different from the previous one. So this is W2A, and this would be W3A, and this would be my right answer. So I'm just going to click on it and say RA. So once this is done, it's very important when you're adding triggers, you name your text boxes and your shapes so you know exactly what trigger goes where. 
I'm going to close this. Now this is where the magic happens. Click on your animations. And I want this wrong answer icon to pop up when I click on my first wrong answer. So I'm going to click on this multiplication sign and I'm going to choose the animation that I want. So go ahead and play with what you like. I'm going to click on zoom. I think I like this one. And once I decide what I want, I'm going to click on it. Use my animation painter, double click so you can see a brush sign. Once you know the brush sign is up and going, you can simply paste your animation to all your icons. There you go. Once that's done, so animation part is done. Now I need to go ahead and add triggers. To do that, I'm going to click on animation pane. So this is my first wrong answer. And I want this to pop up. So I'm going to go all the way to the right. Click on this little arrow here. Click on timings. And I'm going to add a trigger. So I want that particular cross sign to pop up when I start the effect off. That is when I click on my first wrong answer. So start effect on click off the first wrong answer. So what happens is when you click on the wrong answer, this little cross button comes up. All right, so I want the second one to pop up when I click on the second wrong answer. So again, all the way to the right, timings, trigger, start effect on click off, second wrong answer. Third one is the same thing, timing. So now you see why I have named my text boxes so I know exactly which one goes where. I'm going to go ahead and add the triggers for the rest of them. So that's my right answer. I want it to pop up when I click on my right answer. Click OK. Now let's take a look and see if this works. So wrong answer, very good. Wrong answer, very good. Right answer, perfect. Another variation would be something like this. So when you click on a wrong answer, it not only tells you it's wrong, but it also changes the color. Same is the case with the right answer. So let's go ahead and take a look how this is done. I'm simply going to duplicate this slide. And I'm going to change the question one to question two. I'm going to click on all the shapes or the icons, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to click on my text boxes and I'm going to change the outline from sketch to straight so I can have that highlight effect. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert a shape. This is my rectangle. I want to make sure the rectangle pretty much covers up the whole wrong answer. So there you go. I'm going to change the color to red and I do not want any outline. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and copy it three times. Control, bring it down, control, control, and drag. So except for the right answer, everything has to be red in color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and change the color to green. So what we want to do here is we have the exact same animations, but we also want these to animate at the same time the wrong icon pops up. So I'm going to click on one of them, click on the animation, and I'm going to choose a wipe effect. I do not want it to wipe from the bottom. I want it to wipe from the left. Once I am happy with the effect, I'm going to go ahead, click on that. Use my animation painter. Remember, you have to double click so you can see that little brush and then copy the animation to all my rectangles. There you go. Once that is done, I'm going to click on my animation pane. So this is my first rectangle. I know that has to animate along with the cross sign when I click on the wrong answer. So all I'm going to do is drag this down to my first wrong answer and change it to with previous. Now this is going to be my second wrong answer. I'm going to drag it all the way down and change it to with previous. This is going to be my right answer. So I'm going to drag it below my right answer, change it to with previous. This is going to be my last one. Drag it down, change it to 
with previous. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to click on all of these and I'm going to send them to back. All right, now let's take a look. There you go. So it not only highlights, but it also tells you if your answer is right or wrong. So the best way to customize it is simply right click on the slide that you want to use and duplicate it. Make sure you change the question number. This would be question number three. And you don't want this option to be your right option all the time. So I'm going to select all of this, shift, and make sure I get the icon too, and simply move it around. So by duplicating it and moving your options around, this will create a cool knowledge check for your students. Please stay tuned for many, many more interactive PowerPoint tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be an educator who might really need this knowledge check for their classes. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.